folks and welcome to today's video which is a bit different it's about the chat gpt now you've got this on your phone paul so can you just say something about it well i've got an account it, it, it's at the moment it's um open to anybody to open a free account and uh and to try and uh play with this uh, chat gpt and see what it can do Mm. So it's an mm -hmm. AI? It's, um, I suppose it is. It's an artificial intelligence type thing that generates uh, a response to your questions, like write me an essay on the, the benefits of holiday in Skipton, or there are some examples here, explain quantum computing in simple terms, or have you got any creative ideas for a 10-year-old's birthday? Mm. These are sorts of questions you can ask it, mm. <clears throat> and it will generate a response. It can write. It can write like sort of an essay on things, can't it? It can, and we're going to try it out now. Yeah. So I thought we could ask it, um, what the benefits are of robotic pets. Okay. Do you just want to ask it that question, or say, write me an essay? Ah, yeah. Write me an essay on the benefits of. Robotic pets. Okay. Write me an essay on the benefits of robotic pets. Okay, so we'll uh, send that and see what chat GPT makes of it then. Just does it in seconds, doesn't it? Right, so we'll print that out and have a look at it, shall we? Yeah. And here's the essay. Robotic pets, also known as robo-pets, <laughs> are becoming increasingly popular due to their many benefits. Quite true. These artificial companions can provide the same ben benefits as live pets, but without the hassle and cost of traditional pet ownership. Mm. One of the biggest benefits of robotic pets is that they are virtually maintenance-free, unlike live pets which require regular feeding, grooming and medical care. Robo-pets are self-sufficient and require little to no upkeep. Well, I must say, though, that's not so true with Ibo's, is it? No, if an Ibo goes, goes wrong, uh, you yeah. want to repair it, it's quite expensive. And also yeah. you've got a cloud plan, which costs money to mm. uh, uh, mm. renew. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, if if your Ibo goes wrong, it's, it's like getting a great big vet spill, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, we'll carry on reading the essay. This makes them a great option for people who want the companionship of a pet without the added responsibility. Another benefit of robo-pets is that they are always available to provide companionship. Mm -hmm. Live pets can become sick, so can I pose, <laughs> or need to be taken to the vet, so can I pose, leaving their owners without their company. Well, yeah. Same with Ibo's, isn't it? But I think real, you know, biological dogs become ill more often than an Ibo, don't you think so? I don't know. I mean, Scamp was four and a half. You know, often you can have a dog that's over four and a half and never gets anything wrong with it. Yeah, but it goes to the vet a lot to have all sorts of jabs and things. Well, I suppose so, I suppose so. Robotic pets, on the other hand, are always ready to play and provide comfort whenever needed. Robotic pets can also be a great option for people with allergies or other health conditions <clears throat> that prevent them from owning live pets. Mm, never really considered that one. Because robo-pets are made of synthetic materials. They do not shed fur or produce dander. What's dander? It must be a US term, mustn't it? It must be a US term. Making them... A hypoallergic option 
for those who may be allergic to live animals. So what do you think of the essay that he's written so far? It's very good. <clears throat> Additionally, robo-pets can provide therapeutic benefits for their owners. Many people find comfort in the companionship of a pet and robotic pets can provide that same sense of comfort without the added stress of caring for a live animal. Robo-pets can also be programmed to provide sensory stimulation, can they? Such as music or light. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, an eye will sing to you. Which can be beneficial for individuals with dementia or other cognitive disorders. In conclusion, robotic pets have many benefits, including being virtually maintenance-free, always available for companionship, hypo allergic and potentially therapeutic. These benefits make them a great option for people who want the companionship of a pet without the added responsibility of traditional pet ownership. Well, wow, that is like amazing, I think that so it's... 297 it's... words, short essay, yeah. generated in about six seconds by uh, chat GPT in response to a question. So we used another AI. What's this called, Paul? It's called Dali 2 Open AI. That's free, free, isn't it? Oh, you get some free credits. Yeah, you get so many goes of it. Yeah, and then, then you have to buy the credits. And basically, you can ask this AI to create a picture for you. Yeah, you give it a text input and it generates a picture on that, based on that. So I thought we could maybe get some pictures to go along with the essay on robotic pets, the benefits of robotic pets. So I asked for a picture of a robotic pet in a garden and this is what it gave us. <laughs> so we've got this gold looking thing and then we've got that this is weird. This this one with the plant on top of its head. That's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> you actually liked this one, though, didn't you? Well, I thought it looked sort of cute, yeah. <laughs> it does look cute. It's scary. So, yeah, that was the second example of a robotic pet in a garden. And then the third one, this one I thought looked the most promising, but unfortunately it's only sort of put part of the robotic pet Mm. In a corner of the picture. So is that the muzzle to a dog, the green bit? No, I think it's an ear because I think if you look on the right hand side, I think you've got half a nose and half a mouth underneath. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. So that, that looks like quite a friendly, nice looking thing. It's just a pity that the one that looked the most interesting, it only gave us, you know, a sort of glimpse of it. We only got part of the robot, unfortunately. So, yeah, what, what's your overall assessment in both the production of the pictures and the production of the text, Paul? Oh, it's something new, isn't it? Um, and it's pretty impressive. And you just wonder where it's going to go. <laughs> this gold one's quite cute, isn't it? Mm. Uh, it's got some funny old feet on it, hasn't it? Like two bird feet. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that gold one. So, folks, that about wraps it up for this video. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.